What is up guys, Sock Frostbite here, giving you guys some more gameplay and whatnot. Um I just wanna let you guys know that um I am playing some I'm playing Halo Reach and I will be giving guys some how to become an MLG Pro tips. Well they're not really tips, it's just some advice of what you might want to you know what you definitely gonna wanna do before you start doing all that good stuff. Um I'm not an MLG Pro, nor will I be in the near future, but I am pretty good at this game. Well, I mean, I w it used to be pretty good, too, you know, I've been playing Spatterfield a lot, but I'm not the best at that game either, but I do know what and what not to do, especially in this game. Um, you, If you definitely want to become an MLG Pro, especially now, you want to play on game types that have, like, um, no reticle bloom, because that's what the MLG game type is, and you're definitely going to want to get accustomed to that before you start playing the actual MLG game type and you uh, you just really gotta work on your DMR skills like if you, you just really gotta work on that because it's really important that's the what you're gonna be using the most in MLG <coughs> um, you always wanna pace your shots, always strafe, come up with new sh types of strafes just do everything thing outside the box like uh, I kinda have a hard time with um, the different routes to the maps because you know like you always gotta think okay so if I go here this guy will be there and I'll go through there if I need to go back and whatnot and you it's just a lot of stuff fit variables you have to be worried about if you really want to get good at it but once you get the hang of, hang of it it gets really easy and it's just really worth it now for the DMR it really the most reliable weapon in MLG in the MLG game type that you can ever count on because well one of course you spawn with it and it's really reliable okay because you can it's really spam I mean, especially since it's got no reticle you can spam it all you want and you might or might not kill the guy but you just really gotta be careful where your reticle's at always go for headshots okay now I'm saying this again headshots take a lot less shots to kill the guy so if you can just spam, spam up on the body and you won't be able to kill the guy, but if you spam up a good amount of shots up on the uh, in the uh, face area, you know, say hello to his face with your bullets or whatnot, then yeah, he'll be he'll be down like a, I don't even know, I don't even know a good analogy for you know, that kind of stuff, but anyways, um, yeah, also work for sniping, because of course snipers are one of the big big huge power weapons that you always want to get to get good map control which I'll talk about later in the video um the sniper this picture the sniper is a bigger version of the DMR but the bloom is a lot smaller so you can just try and strafe with it uh go for long range kills if you can uh, close quarters you, you know I don't recommend it that's what your DMR is for but go for headshots if you can always go for headshots with the with the, um, with the sniper, but if you can't, just go for the body shots because it still takes, you know, uh, it's still pretty good. Does pretty good damage, and if your teammates have damaged them enough, it'll just be a one shot. But usually, it'll be two kills to the body and one to the head with the sniper. Now, for the needle rifle, it's like uh, not as powerful as the DMR, but it shoots a lot faster, so it's just kind of the same thing. But uh, I definitely go for more overpower than speed because power it'll take a lot less shots usually and it's really it's not it, it's really reliable but that's just me um definitely you want always 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 go for the power weapons because you'll get map control a lot quicker and it's a lot easier to kill people like the shotgun i don't even know if, they, if it's an mlg game type anymore but i think some of it is on some maps you definitely want to get like the good power weapons where it'll take like one or two shots to kill somebody like you know, uh, shot rocket rocket launcher is definitely good because you can uh, clear out an area that you don't want your, you know, you don't want the enemy to get into because if they do, then they're gonna spawn in there and they'll, it's just really, uh, it'll, it's not good if they get behind you. It's really good for clearing out areas and uh, you always want to know the spawn times for every single power weapon like the sniper, the rockets, the grenade launchers, etc because they're called power weapons and it's really it does not take that much to kill you with unless you, if you 
don't know how to use. Okay, if you know how to use it, it'll be it, it's you'll be a monster. Okay. Uh, for the grenade launcher, the only tips I can give is if you fire it, hold down the trigger, wait for the bullet to, or grenade to get close, you know, close enough that you want to, want it to be. Let go of the trigger to blow up. If it's if it doesn't kill him, switch to your DMR or pistol or whatever you have and go for a headshot. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just waiting for the sniper spot. I got it, and I'm really I'm just wrecking their team. I'm not exactly PTFOing. I'm kind of camping in the sniper spot, but I'm just kind of guarding my area, getting up some good you know good amount of kills. The you always want to at least try and stay in an area because if you if you're going around, then you're kind of screwing up the spawns. Be, you know, cause if you if you're like let's say you're on sanctuary and you're on uh you're on blue rocks and you're going up on peat shooter up into R2, uh they're gonna they might or might not spawn in blue rocks if you're on red team because they're not gonna spawn in front of you because that's just gonna be spawn kill and Bungie didn't make it like that, so they're gonna spawn behind you. So if you're if you're facing towards if you're on blue team and you're facing um, you know if you're going up on a, a blue pea shooter blue t the blue teams can spawn up on uh, blue rocks or something like that I even know I have such a horrible memory so I even know but they're just spawn on the opposite side of where you're on, on the map. Now, definitely for Sanctuary, you all you get R1, R2, and R3. Well, not R R3, but you definitely want to control the center of the map because there's so many ways to get in and out of that area. And if there's so many, it, there's so many routes to, to get around the map fairly quickly. Because there's the pea shooters, there's the bonfire, the, the the bridges to the library, and all that good stuff. If you can control that, then you can get guys in and out of areas fairly quickly, especially if you're playing a uh, bomb or capture the flag. Good for cover. You definitely, if, if you're playing an objective game type, you want to get to those key areas that you can hold on your own and you can guide your teammate with the objective, like the bomb or the flag or whatever. Walk right through it and make sure and that you know that it's safe and it'll get safely to your objective. And you don't want to be alone. You want to be with a good team. You want to be with a team that you actually, you, you know, that you trust. So that way you, they, they'll trust you and you trust them and they can just, it'll, it'll work a lot more. You'll work a lot better as a team. Um, you definitely don't want to practice, practice. You want to practice for like, you know, like a certain amount of time a day. Like, you know, like two hours a day maybe half an hour or an hour but the more time you put into practice the better you'll get as a team and always you definitely gonna want to go for game battles and uh, just like start doing that and doing some you know skirmishes up against your friends or uh, other competitive teams that you know of because that's kind of where the uh, um, game battles comes in is you get to go up against good teams it's hard but it, it you know if you do it you'll get used to it you get adapted you'll get you'll get better I mean it's a custom game but you'll get a lot better at the actual game type, if you play with a team. Okay, hold on. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, I had to come in for one quick second. Um, yeah, you definitely you just want to get a good team. Uh, practice each other as much as you possibly can. Come up with good strategies. Um, if you lose a game pretty badly, go into theater. Look what you did wrong. Look at what they did right. What you look at what you did right, and just work on it. And just do that as much as you possibly can because it'll you'll get better and better and better, a bit by bit, and it'll really help out in the end. And uh, that's basically all I have to say for now. And um, oh yeah, map control. I forgot about that. Um, map control. Basically, long story short, is basically where you can control the spawns. You can get the good, you know, get the power weapons. Use that for the spawns. Get you know, kill them before they even know that you're there. Uh, 
get the objective in and out of an area that you wanted to get. It's basically, if you get map control, you're going to win the game. Which is good, because you're going to want to win as much games as you possibly can, especially in game battles and whatnot. Um, it was, um... Let's see, um... Hmm. Try and get like a capture card too to record your team's uh, skirmishes and practices and whatnot, and put it up on YouTube because the more people that know about you, the you know you get more publicity and whatnot. It will it, help you out your team a lot more because be, people are gonna be like, "Well, these guys are good. Uh, I'm gonna like them, subscribe, all that good stuff, and maybe even MLG and mode issue." But you're definitely gonna want to get on game battles and uh, work up your way up on the uh, the ladders and whatnot and it's really help out your you know your team or whatnot especially if you're in a clan and you're representing your clan and you're on, on, a, on a middle of your team it'll be really good for your clan because well people are going to be like wow I really want to join this, this clan and it'll be really good and plus if you end up like a really good team you'll, you'll get paid and you're going to become a really famous clan that everybody's going to want to join and it's going to be so much fun you know, for that kind of stuff. I, I don't know from personal experience, but I'm, I've am i seen it from, you know, other clans like Optic Gaming and uh, Instinct and there's a whole bunch of other t uh, teams and clans and whatnot. Uh, yeah, and if, if you want to be like an Instinct, which is like my favorite uh, MLG team, you got to practice, 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 and uh, oh yeah, one more thing, practice as much as you possibly can with your team if you really want to get good at it. And, uh, yeah, basically just think outside the box, watch your theater, see what you did right and wrong, pace your shots, come up with the new different strafes and work on your power weapons, and, uh, thanks guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe.